big. Trust yourself and make it happen. Welcome viewers to the final episode of this week's Get It Hot show right here on TVP TV. I'm your host, Jenny Love. The show is proudly brought to you by Arches Media Institute and Alice Beauty Palo. My hair and makeover is by Alice Beauty Palo. Contact them on 0532 394 056 0532 394 056. A quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Salut, bonjour à tous. I'm Erika Josi, a proud former student of Arches Media Institute. Thanks to Arches Media, I achieved my goals and my dreams have come true. And today I'm working as a journalist with the Pan African TV Africa News. To you who have always dreamt of becoming a great journalist, I will recommend to you only one school and the best one, Artist Media Institute. With more than eight years of experience in training journalists from several countries, including Congo, Gabon, Kenya, and many more, Artist Media is the private media school you can really trust. Artist Media is located in Accra, Ghana. You can call them to the number below your screen. Artist Media, integrity with professionalism. Thanks for staying on. It's still the Get It Hot Show, where trending issues are saved. Hot, 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 and hot. I'm Jenny Love. Trending today in a gruesome incident in Kaswan New Market, the Ewusu Senior East Municipality of the Central Region, a 27 year old electrician named Jim, was brutally murdered. His eyes were surgically removed by unidentified assailants. Reports indicate that the assailants carried out the gruesome killing, leaving the victim's lifeless body 100 meters away from where it was later found in a wheelbarrow at dawn on Wednesday. Residents in the area suspect that the removal of the victim's eye may be connected to ritualistic practices which have left them in a state of fear and panic. Upon being alerted to the incident, the police responded by visiting the crime scene, retrieving the body and subsequently conveying it to the police mortuary. The chief of Ewutu Oshimpo Naye Okujiman Oshimpo has called on the Central East Regional Police Command and the Inspector General of Police, IGP, to address the escalating criminal activities in Kasson New Market, which has raised concern among the local community. Moving on to our next trending story for the day, the Ghana Gas Company Limited has cut sword for the construction of a 200-bed capacity hospital at University of Energy and natural resources in Kumasi in the Bono region. The project, when completed, is expected to complement the efforts of the government to provide effective health care and achieve universal health coverage. The first phase, which is already underway, will see the construction of 80 bed facility within 24 months and will comprise of OPD, an administrative block, a lab, a pharmacy, a mini theater, a male and female wards, among others with expanded emergency and specialty blocks in the next phase. Ghana Gas Project Manager Idongbole Mbia Enima explained that as a national asset, wherever their projects reach, community society responsibility projects must also go to the enclave, hence the decision of a hospital in Sunyani. Moving on to our next trending story from the cap of the NPP. The former New Patriotic Party, NPP flag bearer hopeful, Alan Tremontine's campaign team in the Western region has joined Vice President Dr. Mahamudu Baumieskam. Speaking at a press conference in a video shared by Kofi TV on Thursday, September 21, 2023, the leader of the team said they have decided to join Dr. Baumieskam because of their political future. We discussed extensively. We have thoroughly assessed the four other candidates who are contesting, and we feel that Dr. Baumia is our best bet, he said. The leader further stated, we believed in Alan Chemantin's vision and set out to support him. Now that he has decided not to contest, we need to take a decision, a decision that would also protect our political future as young men and women here in the Western region. He added that the Vice President is the only person who can help the NPP win the 2024 presidential elections. 
Alan Chermantin, one of the leading members in the NPP flag bearership race, officially withdrew from the race on Tuesday, September 5, 2023. So our last trending story for the day, Ghanaian musician Black Sheriff has imploded after he condemned the arrest of Occupy Jilobi House protesters who took to the streets to voice their grievances to the government. Many have hailed him for his choice of words in the social media post he shared on Thursday. In a tweet post cited by TBP TV and shared on Thursday, September 21, 2023, Black Sheriff lambasted the government and the Ghana Police Service for arresting occupied Jilobi House protesters. According to Blacko, it is baffling when Ghanaians are being maltreated for demanding accountability from the government with regard as to the state of affairs in the country. The 2023 Vodafone Ghana Music Award VGMA Artist of the Year winner quizzed the government on how borrowed monies are spent without rendering accountability to the Ghanaian populace, which gave them the nod to be at the helm of affairs. His comment comes after the police detained protesters who conveyed at the 37 military hospital inside a bus after they chose to proceed with their planned peaceful protest. Despite the police filing for an injunction, barely 24 hours to the protest. That's all for today on the Get It Hot Show right here on TVP TV. I remain your lawyer host, Jenny Love. Today's special birthday mention goes to AJ Patient Nyakua, aka Kaswa Beyonce. Have a good one, sweetheart. The show was proudly brought to you by Arches Media Institute and Alice Beauty Follow. If today is your first time coming across my videos, kindly subscribe, comment, like, and share. Stay tuned for more updates.